Hey, it's Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. I'm here at HIMSS Europe and Health 2.0 Europe. And joining me right now, I have a Dutch NGO startup-y kind of company. Um, this is Erwin Fisser, and I can't pronounce the lovely Dutch name of your, of your business. So please tell everybody what you guys are called. It's okay, it's quite long. Uh, our company is called Aidsfonds SOA Aids Nederland. And uh, as you said, we are an NGO. So that means we are government funded, but we are an independent organization. You guys have a really cool solution, which I love. And it's as difficult as that is to say, this is not. You guys are tackling a really important problem, which is STI and HIV testing. And so you have you are deploying kits through like a digital sign-up program. So tell me a little bit about this. Yeah, one of the most important things when you're uh, uh, fighting STIs and HIV is you want to get people that are at risk tested and tested as soon as possible. Uh, but we also know that there are a lot of reasons why people do not get tested and one of the most important reasons is that um, they are afraid of, of stigmatization or, uh, for example, there might be a uh, man who has sex with men from a small rural village, there may be sex workers. and So those people, um, they, they are a bit reluctant to go see uh, a professional. Sure. Um, and uh, right now there's, there, there wasn't uh, anything available for them so we built this this online uh, uh, intervention where um, you fill out well, it, it looks like a chat but it's basically a structured questionnaire you, you fill out all sorts of questions about your behavior and then in the end you get a result should you get tested what should you get tested for where can you go and uh, obviously we will always, always give the advice you should see a medical professional so you could, should go see a general practitioner uh, but if you really don't want to, you can order uh, kits online. And we don't sell them ourselves, but we okay. link you to uh, organizations who do that are of sufficient quality level. So you guys are really making this very accessible for somebody who you know, is trying to protect their own privacy um, in whatever way. Yeah, that's, that's what we try to do. For, uh, make it as easy as it possible to, to get tested, but also get a good test. Because uh, in the Netherlands, it, it's also possible to sort of get a chlamydia test like uh, 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 from a pharmacist. Uh, but then you miss the entire conversation because if you're going to get tested for chlamydia, uh, you're not sure if, if the test is, is correctly uh, uh, and you don't know. You should also get tested for different uh, SEI. So by making this advice chat, you get the same advice as you would get from your uh, general practitioner mm -hmm. because we follow uh, uh, the guidance guidelines okay. from the Dutch colleagues of general practitioners. Um, so the quality level is, 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 is assured. You always get 100% correct advice at the end. Okay, so how many, how many people have requested testing kits or have gone through and completed your questionnaire to find out where to go get tested? Uh, in the past 12 months, uh, 115,000 people have started the questionnaire, uh, of which 67,000 have made it all the way to the end, which okay. it takes you about six to 10 minutes okay. to make it all the way to the end. So that's quite a long time. Yeah. And uh, what we're, we're trying to do now is trying to find out why uh, about one third of people don't make it to the end. Okay. Um, so, but that's that, a lot, that's a lot of data that no, you need to go through. Absolutely. No, I mean, I, I think that's good. And I appreciate the fact that you're honest about that. But mm. even still, 67,000 people going on through the end—that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's quite a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it really yeah. is. Who, yeah. who may not have gotten tested or, or wouldn't even think about doing it. Yeah, we know that 75. Because the first question you ask is why have you started at Fischet? And 75% uh, of the people they say, well. I'm afraid I might have an STI, so I, I've, I may be at risk. So we're clearly reaching the right people for this. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, and so what is next for you guys? I understand you said you're an NGO, and so for those who aren't familiar with what that might be um, for, from other parts of the world, explain what that is. Does that mean like you're a startup and you're raising money too? Like, how does that work? Uh, it, can, it can work in, in, in different ways. Uh, I think the most important is that uh, we are not in this uh, uh, to make money. So all the, uh, the money that we make, we, we uh, immediately invest in, in the projects uh, ah, okay. uh, um, that we work for. Um, so, but we are actually looking for, uh, for funding to, to scale up uh, at VisChat. So, uh, because we, we know it is, it is effective. Like I said, 67,000 people have gotten, uh, True, uh, gotten yeah. tested. Uh, but the funding we have now is only enough to sort of to keep it online mm -hmm. uh, and we, we really would like to do more with it we really like to make use of um, of, of AI we really, really would like to do a lot more with all the data that we've collected we that we do not currently have the time to look into and sort of find out why what are the reasons what sort of behaviors can we find that uh, uh, people run into into risks so um, and that's yeah unfortunately all those things cost a lot of money which they we do, do not have they do but those are very worthwhile endeavors so if anybody out there is looking to support something like this are you guys just based in um, the Netherlands or are you looking abroad? Uh, we are based in, uh, in the Netherlands, but we are, uh, our, uh, our activities are worldwide. So we do a lot of projects in, in Africa. Uh, with uh, We have partners in, like in, in South Africa, in, in Kenya, and in, in Uganda, uh, Southeast Asia. And so we are uh, working globally, uh, but usually we work with partners uh, and, and we, we help them do the work in their own countries. 
Awesome. Well, this is really cool. Thank you so much for stopping by and, and giving me a, a chat about what it was all about. Well, thank I appreciate you very much. it. Thank, thank you. you. I'm Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. Thanks so much for joining us.